G'day, Spuddies. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm making mash today with these. They're called purple Congo potatoes. They look, uh, I've had these once last year. But I didn't have mash with them, I just had them roasted. So I'm going to try some mash. They're purple on the inside. Actually, no, let me cut them open for you. Oh, there we go, I've got a pile of them here. Whoops! Dropped it on the floor. Got a purple toe. There you go. So that's, like, look at my toe there now. Can you see it? I can't tell if you can see it. But anyway, it's like, a bit like beetroot juice just came out of my toe. Anyway, you don't have to eat your food if you drop it on the floor, but I'm confident mine's clean, so I'm gonna eat it. I'll chop them up and then I'll show you. All right, I've chopped them all up. I just chopped them all in half. And there they are. Oh, it's a bit dark there, you can't really see, but I'll show you again. That's, uh, well that one was a big one, so I've chopped it in thirds. There you go, isn't that cool, the inside of, the, inside of it's purple. I've never seen them other than this specific variety where they're, you get lots of different colours of potatoes, but they're all pretty much the same colour on the inside, except for these ones. Um, Alright, so all I've done is chuck it in this pressure cooker, little vat full of water in there, and then close it up. Try to do this one hand, just trying to focus on two things at once. Close it up, turn it on, uh, press rice button, and then uh, set it to quick and press start. There's no, there's no potato button on there, so I use the rice one. It's about the right amount of time. All right, let's see how we go. There it is, it's just finished. All right, so that's purple Congo potatoes in the Instant Pot. Just finished. Now, I'm not going to show you everything I do because it's boring, but chopped onion, dried chopped onions. I'm going to add some of that. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, stock powder, salt reduced stock powder. It says chicken on it, but it's actually, this is a vegan plant-based stock powder. It's chicken style. It's not actually chicken, so don't get angry with me for that. Um, a little bit of garlic powder. There's going to be a teaspoon of each of those three things. What'd you say there, Mandy? Hi, folks. Mandy says, hi, folks. Do you want me to show? Oh, you want... There's Mandy. I had to check because sometimes you don't want to go on camera. Yeah, I'm not looking. Oh, dear. Yeah, might have. <laughs> might regret this. Anyway. Well, you're in. Damage is done. <laughs> I'm going to the shop. I've been sick. I'm ill. Anyway. Nice, Teddy. Teddy, so how are you, buddies? No, over here, mate. And the phone. Talk to the phone. Hello, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so those three things, and I'm also putting in some nooch, nutritional yeast. So there's about a teaspoon of each of those first three things, and a tablespoon of this one. Hang on, mate, I'm nearly finished. And remember, it's a big pot here, so that's not a lot of flavouring. It's just enough to give it a bit of flavour, but there's not a lot there because it's spread out over a big pot of potatoes. So I'm going to do. I'm going to add those things, and then a bit of um, soy milk as well to help it mash. And then I'm going to mash it, and then I'll get back to you. All right, we're done. I just made it. I basically I made the same, made the mash the same way as I do with normal white potatoes. And um, here we are. Oh, hang on, there we go. Purple mashed potato. Mm. Yum. It's slightly different to normal, but not much. It really it just tastes like potato. It looks very different, obviously. But um, I guess it's probably heavier, not quite as light and fluffy as my mashed potato usually is. But it's pretty, pretty good. It's not, I wouldn't say it's better or worse, it's just a little bit, slightly different. And of course it looks cool. Mmm. <laughs> so there you go, that's going to be dinner tonight. Um, yeah, there you go. So uh, if you like it, then uh, give it a try. See if you can find some purple Congo spuds. If you live around Melbourne, then... The uh, leaf in Elwood has purple Congo, and um, I'm not sponsored by anyone, by the way. 
there's also a guy at Paran Market that has purple Congo spuds. I'm sure there are others around too. Um, and give it a go. It's good. Yeah. Next time, I think I'm going to try and make chips with purple Congo spuds. We'll see how we go. Um, anyway, like and share the video. Uh, and if you want to subscribe to uh, the newsletter at spudfit.com, that'd be great. Um, and if you uh, are interested in, then get my book, Amazon DIY Spudfit Challenge. Um, I don't know. I don't want to bore you with all that stuff. Just um, help me out. Thanks, everyone. And um, have some purple Congo mashed potato. Spot up.